folks, Mr. Dalton does some great research. I don't know how he found this place. Oh, look at the old orange groves. That's what our whole county used to look like, gang. Thousands of acres of orange groves. Everybody's out front. Oh my gosh, look at this. 1916. Yep. Yeah, you get you get up. You get a popsicle for just finding this. Of course. Hey gang, here is today's permission, a beautiful, beautiful two-story 1916 mansion. And we came in from the backyard. Here is the front yard view. Look at that. Oh yeah, okay. It's a big signal though. Okay gang, Mr. Uh, Dalton's hole that he thinks he called first coin on. He believes it's a token. And... Oh yeah, that's the size of the trade tokens I got down in Clearwater. It's the exact same. Oh man. Good for one cake. Crystal yep. cocoa. It's a palm olive. Same one I got in Clearwater. Yep. Palm olive. That's badass. Did they date him? Yeah, this one, if this is the Palm Olive Pete Company. It says Chicago on the back. Okay, yep. If it says Palm Olive Pete, see if you can get that side cleaner. If it says Palm Olive Pete. Those two companies were only joined for three years, I think from 1896 to 1899 or something. Does it say Palm Olive Pete? Palm Olive. We did, a 19, we did a 1920 house in Clearwater, and I found two of these. I found one from the Palm Olive Pete Company, and then about a foot away, I found one from a Kentucky Lumber Company. Good for one cake of crystal cocoa, soap-free. Yeah, I got it. When you buy one cake of Palm Olive soap, yeah, let me spray the other side. Yep, so Chicago on the bottom. P1012. I think that's what mine says. Hey, Dalton has his second find. Yeah, there's a name on it. J. Something Metz Jr. Tampa, Florida. 1947. 1947. Uh, was it rabies or vaccine tag? Pit, Pittman Moore. Oh. Nice. All right. Hey, Mr. It's Dalton. Tag or it's some tax token or tax. No, that's a dog tag. It's a dog tag. And a dog tax back in the 50s. Well, let's see if we can get that little spot there cleaned up. Stand by. Okay, gang, we, we both got these at the same time. We both called coin, and I actually beat them for once. I got a 44 Weedy that came out super green, and Mr. Dalton got a 45. Um, and only our second and third coins. I got a uh, modern Rosie behind that tree, not far from this penny. But these are our first two. We're finally on the board, gang, with a couple of Weedies. All right. All right, Mr. Dalton just called a pocket knife. Oh, nice. It's almost complete. It's probably got 40, 50, 60 years age to it. Very nice. Alrighty, Dalton calls a coin. And then he says it's a weedy as I get closer, which is good. Our fourth one. A 44. 44. Our second 44 of the day. Alrighty. Boom. Alrighty, Miss Alex. Dalton actually checked his hole before he covered it up. And he got another signal and he called a coin. And he officially has a weedy spill. Second weedy out of the same hole. Yeah, they're just coming out of rough. It's very green though. Yeah. All right, let me get my glasses. Wow, that's green. All right, well, I was trying to get a date off of this one. Look at how green that weedy is, gang. 42 Denver. And boy, if he cleans this up, this is gonna be the greenest weedy we've ever taken out of a hole. Wow, look at the green patina on that. And then while I was doing that, he got another signal and he got the third weedy out of the hole. All right, I'll swap you then. Yeah, oh, you got it. Oh man, these are green. All right, stand by. All right, we'll look at it later, but I thought there Definitely was. Definitely a 27. All right, and he's got a fourth one in the hole. Well, he's got a fourth signal. All righty, um, got another deep signal here. It uh, had to go way down there. Got another 2425, which is normally a dime signal for us or a memorial, but that's what we're getting all our Wheaties on. This is Wheatie number six, or is this seven? How many did you get? You've gotten four today, right? You've gotten three, three out of one hole and in a separate one? That's four or five. I don't know what I'm 
Okay, so this is weedy seven or eight. So the property's starting to pick up. And this is a 41, also super, super green. And it was way down there, gang. Starting to pick up a little. All righty, Mr. Dalton yelled from across the yard. He's got another weedy, but it's a 54D, so he can wave from here. <laughs> and from way over there on the other side of the yard, Mr. Dalton calls another weedy, 1952. All righty, it looks like we're in the backyard because the house faces this beautiful lake, but, and obviously this house wasn't here, but when the original owners built this house in 1916, they wanted the front of their house to face the lake. So this is the front of the house, and we're actually in the front yard, even though we're away from the road. And gang, I just dug the worst signal I've had all day. It was a bouncy 28, wouldn't give me any other number. It was choppy, it wouldn't lock in on pinpoint. It said it was 10 inches, so I dug way down there and got rewarded with the second oldest coin of the day, a 1930 Weedy in beautiful, beautiful condition. Yeah, that was a horrible signal. Boy, am I glad I dug that. That was like a Dalton signal. Alrighty, second oldest coin of the day. Alrighty, about a minute after I called my 1930 on a lousy signal, Mr. Dalton says he has a coin, and I said, let's keep the Weedy Street going. We don't want any memorials today. And he goes, oh, oh, geez, look, at he's leaving his pinpointer to show me he's got more coins. There you go. All right, look at how green these are, folks. 1920, he just got our new oldest coin. 99-year-old coin today. Now we're talking, now this property's picking up. We've been here over, way over two hours, I'm betting, but. All right, let's, let's come on. Oh. Nail. Piece of iron. Piece of iron. All right, 99-year-old okay. coin. Dalton's got two in the 20s now. All right. I think we got 10 Wheaties. Oh, we're, we? we're over 10, yeah. All right, my detector's right there. I heard Mr. Dalton go, ooh, and then he went, oh boy. And we got most of a toy pistol. Oh, we haven't had one. Oh, it's another, it's another Tex. Oh yeah. Same one we got off the 27 or 25. Uh, oh, that looks so nice. Nice, we haven't had a cap gun in months. Very nice, Mr. Dalton. Oh, there's the. Yep, there's the bullets. The, it's the it's the Hubley Tex. Oh, that's got even got some fancy. Yep, it's the star. Hey, and the trigger moves. Or the the cocking mechanism moves. Nice. Good find, sir. Thank you. Alrighty, good people. As you can see, well, let's get the pinpointer out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good 10, 12, 13 inches there, guys. I just couldn't get to it and it kept saying it was down there and look at this beauty. Dalton thinks it's the inside of a pocket watch. It has F and S here with radiated gradients. So that could be the fast or slow speed. You can see it right there, F and S for fast or slow, we think. And then right there above my thumb, it says made in the USA. I didn't know if this was the insides of a lock, but Dalton believes this is the inside of a pocket watch. Oh, that is just way, way cool. That is way old, folks. All right, this property is definitely picking up. We're taking a break. Took a break where our water bottles are sitting in the chair. Mr. Dalton comes down, turns his machine on. He says, I'm digging. I said, you digging already? He goes, yeah, I'm digging a 20. I said, I'm tired of digging 20s. It's all little pieces and blobs of lead or metal. And then I hear him go, oh, my gosh. And he gets a Ford valve stub cover. We have not gotten one of these since January. We've gone four months without one of these. Oh, and it's got some nice, still brightish copper color to it. Very nice, Mr. Dalton. Ford Model A valve stub cover. Nice. Thank you. And Dalton calls a coin. And it's a weedy because we can't buy a silver today. Can't get a date. Oh, we'll get a date, sir. I think it's going to be a baby weedy. 52 or 53. Okay. All righty. And of course, Rob has to go and ruin our perfect uh, weedy day by getting a zinc here hit by the lawnmower. But Mr. Dalton yells coin and has another weedy. What year did you say? 47. 47. All righty. Okay, gang, Mr. Dalton has officially gone into slob mode. He called out another coin. And it's another weedy. And he's trying to get the date off of it right now. Okay, gang, Mr. Dalton says there's got to be a silver here somewhere. We've gotten 15 Wheaties, but uh, he didn't get a silver. But before he started digging it, he says, 
I'm going for a weedy. Dug an 1819. I have gotten all lead blobs on an 1819, but Mr. Dalton just called Indian Head. Now our day is truly made. Oh, look at that pretty thing. It's going to be 1904. Look at that. Clear as bell. 1904. It's in good shape too. Very little environmental damage, if any. It's a little wiped, but we'll get the back clean. It's just got... I got a toothpick. Yeah, when that dries out, we'll get that off the back. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is that your sixth of the year? Yes. Sixth of the year. Nice. He just went ahead of me. I was just commenting <laughs> that we were both tied. I finally kept up with him on one coin, and 15 minutes later, he goes ahead of me. It, it just never fails. Good job, sir. Thank you. Congratulations. Boom. All right, folks. A homeowner just came out, went inside. Dalton was sitting with him, showing him his silver book, which is rather impressive. And I got up and said, I got to do something to match that uh, 1904 Indian. And I didn't match the Indian, but I got me a really nice... Signal here was might have been silver, but again, our weedies are coming in awful high. And gang, look at that green, look at that green weedy. 1930, and it is just beautiful. I got a lot of cleaning to do, but man, they are coming out of here, the super green patina. All right, gang, that's probably weedy like 16 or 17. Okay, Mr. Dalton just called a weedy on this side of the house. We are now on the west side of the property. Look at that beautiful fireplace. Decided to come over and try this property, and he called a 50D. 50D. Says it's in nice shape. Oh, yeah, there's one we don't have to clean up. Yeah, there we go. He also just got our first memorial of the day. And Mr. Dalton sings out, he has a spoon. Is it old? Oh, yeah, that looks old. Oh, we're going to have to clean that up. That is copper. That's brass. That is it, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, like right at the edge. That's a copper sp Wow. That's, yeah, that's got early 1900s written all over it. Let's see if we can get any name off of this. Nice. We yeah, so you, yeah, we leave them pretty much the way they are. I, I've made my mistakes. When I was with, a kid a couple times, I, I'd even, I put a uh, pencil eraser. Pencil on. eraser. That was the thing to do when you were a kid, absolutely. Yeah. And, and oh, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, folks, I got a, a 2728 uh, reading here for a possible silver dime, and that beautiful thing has come out. I just toothbrushed it. It's got a bar or clip across the back. It is uh, pure copper. So it has two little holes here where it might attach to something. So it might be some decorative piece for the front of a dresser or door or something. I don't know, but it's absolutely gorgeous. All righty. 96 flipping degrees, people, in early May down here. Jeez. 